Uh, hi, good afternoon, guys. I'm, I'm having difficulty in displaying my virtual background. <laughs> uh, good thing I was able to share it with uh, some of our our, brand, our event principal, Mr. Jim Lafferty. <laughs> I'm having a, I, I don't know, maybe something's happening with my Mac. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's uh, acknowledge first uh, everyone who's on board uh, online. Uh, of course, our uh, Patafa President, Dr. Philip Wico, uh, is uh, online already. And of Hello. course, uh, our uh, event proponent, event principal, uh, the CEO of uh, uh, Fine Hygienics Holding, Mr. Jim Lafferty, Michael James Lafferty. Thank you so much for being with us. And also on the Philippine side of the brand, we have uh, Ms. Evangeline Bumagat, uh, the marketing manager for uh, Fine, uh, Fine Guard, and that, uh, the general manager as well. Miss Lizette uh, de Guzman and uh, the other members of the team. Good afternoon, Miss Lizette, and uh, the other members of the team whom I've, I haven't met personally, but I think I met them online and uh, through email exchanges. <coughs> Michael Lim and Jenny Villota. Cheers. Hello there, and of course our uh, friends from the sports media, our sports scribes. Uh, they are sort of like our go-to people. Eh? They've been supporting the Patafa and Athletics uh, relentlessly. And uh, they've been our uh, really our uh, uh, friends, so to speak, uh, through thick and thin. From uh, is Lito around already? Uh, wala pa si Lito, no? Uh, Lito, uh, and then we, we have uh, Ria Revel, of course, from uh, Radio Pilipinas, and that, that uh, beautiful lady with uh, on the upper right corner of my screen. Uh, Peter uh, Atencio of Manila Standard, Cristel uh, Villar of uh, Manila Bulletin, of course, uh, are uh, one of our uh, uh, veteran in the industry. See Mr. Peter Lucas, from Ra also from Ra Radio Filipinas. Beatriz Go from Rappler uh, Sports. Uh, Joey Villar, uh, uh, surname sake, si, ano, si Cristel. Eh. <laughs> Joe Villar from Pilstar, uh, Von Pedralves of Malaya, uh, Ruben uh, Terrado from, I guess, uh, check my, I, I, I don't want to misassign uh, our friends, Ruben Terrado from uh, Spin, uh, Spin.ph, and uh, uh, Vince Wico uh, of uh, the, uh, representing uh, Gatorade and also his, uh, uh, Sport Without Borders blog. Uh, who else uh, is with us? Uh, some other people, uh, some other friends from the sports media are uh, uh, try, will try to catch up because uh, I think they they are some of them are back to uh, normal, ano, you know, normal reporting to the office. Some are also uh, uh, working from home, so apekto na iba ng traffic, the the real traffic. Okay, so uh, to uh, uh, begin our discussion. So this is just a, an informal uh, uh, discussion. Uh, before that, let's uh, have like a sort of like a background there on uh, for So we need to thank our uh, uh, brand, uh, the main brand sponsor, our title sponsor, a Fine Guard uh, Sport Mask. Uh, and also this is in part supported by Gatorade. So let's... Uh, Check them out first. Okay, so here is it. Here we go. So it's our title sponsor is uh, Fine Guard Sport. So let's have a quick look of uh, on a, a snapshot of the product itself. It's very uh, not not just timely, but very very a uh, a. Uh, a Highly appropriate uh, uh, apparel 
for all of us, not just for sports people. So let's check out those uh, top-notch uh, athletes who have been uh, trusting the brand. I'm not seeing anything, Edward. Okay. Let me just. Thank you for uh, notifying me, Jim. I'm trying to find out my well let's do it again anyway uh... Share sound, okay. Yes. Okay, take two. Here you go. Our top. Uh, these are the world's top pole vaulters uh, who participated in the recent uh, fine, uh, the finest uh, pole vaulter held in different parts of the globe, particularly in Italy and the US, I think, and some in, I think, Poland, or, uh, yeah. Uh, let, let, let's check out the, 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 the uh, short video of this. Hi, Pavel, great to see you. How are you feeling today? How, okay, and ready to jump high, I like that. Do you have a crowd there already? Is there a crowd surrounding you? Okay, we're gonna do a big shout out to, to Poland. Dzień dobry, Polska. Yeah, okay. peace and love, my brother, Matt. How you feeling? A little disappointed, but uh, I've had better performances. I'm good. Just finished the warm up. Okay, you're looking ready, you're looking good. Uh, is it true that you're gonna make some bolts in a mask? Yeah. So, yeah, I will. I will. I'll try to jump okay, my opening amazing. height with this one. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's you know, EJ, we, we, we got we got to tell you that you know, a lot of people are tuning in from the Philippines. What do you tell them right now? Uh, I want to say thank you very much for everyone who's watching this. You know, much appreciated the love and I feel amazing. it. All right, well, thank you so much. We're rooting for your EJ. Yeah. All right. All right. Peace and love. Okay, there we go. Uh, so uh, that that gives us uh, that v short video gives us a uh, a short a uh, quick preview of how the brand the product uh, would look uh, when it's used already. Uh, it it follows the contour of the face, so it's not just your regular face mask that we use. And um, it would be uh, uh, fairly explained by uh, Miss uh, Evangeline Bumagat how. Uh, what's its really uh, direct benefit for the user, especially for uh, athletes and active individuals. Now let's have a quick also a, a quick uh, video of our uh, uh, minor sponsor, Gatorade, who's been, who will be supporting it, our uh, event as well. So Gatorade, let's hear from our sponsors. Yeah, there you sharing. Was there a video? None. None. Okay. 
Nagdudo ko po itong ating uh, My man, Dwayne Wade. You got this. You cool. Cool like a penguin in a tank top. Cool like a convertible with a snowplow. Like a streaker at a hockey game. Like a finger roll in February. Cool like a Yeti eating frozen spaghetti. Ooh. The cool, crisp flavor of Gatorade Frost. <laughs> Play cool. Clock is ticking. Okay, let's just to say uh, sort of like a R. Um, uh... Our appetizer for today's uh, discussion. Anyway, uh, the reason why we I showed you the, 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 these uh, two brands that are supporting our the first major event for the year of Patapa is that it gives us the, a fair idea of how we get to partner with uh, relevant brands, uh, not just for the sake of having uh, sponsors or event partners. This like. The Fine Guard uh, Sport Mask is basically a, a, a must uh, product or uh, apparel for every one of us, especially in this in a, uh, situation that we're in. Whereas the uh, Gatorade, of course, for any sporting activity, physical activity, it's really is, uh, is also beneficial, especially for athletes. That's the reason why we, I presented this uh, brand, of course. It's also our way of saying thank you to our sponsors. Anyway, to open our uh, formally open our uh, virtual press conference for the Fine Guard Sport uh, uh, National Virtual Half Marathon Challenge is our Patafa President, Dr. Philip Viva, sir. Hi, <clears throat> good evening. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Jim, uh, Mr. Jim Lafferty, who is. Uh, the CEO of uh, Fine Guard, uh, based in uh, Dubai, and the and the partners in the Philippines, the RPG of uh, Rustans. Welcome and good afternoon, and of course our friends in media and representatives of Gatorade. We are happy to uh, be with you once again to announce to you that this is this virtual half marathon is. Our, our response to the pandemic. Uh, this is one way of adjusting to the conditions without uh, neglecting uh, the sport. And uh, it's one way of restarting, rebooting the sport, or uh, in this case, particular case, marathon. We have a situation, we have a pandemic, but we just refuse to roll over and forget about everything. We will continue with our activities in Patafa with the help of uh, organizations like uh, Fine Guard uh, through uh, Jim Lafferty, who is uh, a uh, perennial uh, supporter of Patafa and our athletes, beginning a uh, start, uh, well, notably EJ Obiena. And uh, I understand that uh, the virtual marathon is now a common activity in some areas. I understand that the New York marathon held last November was also a virtual marathon. So uh, people are starting to adjust and uh, people are starting to deal with this in, uh, in, uh, in a very productive way. And we also want to we are also conscious that many of our people are addicted to running. It's an addiction to them and they're looking for events like this, even during a pandemic. And we are able to pull, push this to pull, pull through with this product using very, very uh, creative and imaginative health protocols to protect our athletes, but at the same time, to have, to have a continuity of the sport. And another thing before I, uh, another, another factor that I want to bring up is Edward later on will give you some idea, the details of <clears throat> some prices 
that we have put together for uh, our runners. Uh, and it will be very, very creative. It's not your usual uh, prices for uh, the fastest time or stuff like that, but it's going to be a different type of uh, uh, package. So once again, I would like to express our uh, appreciation to Fine Guard for uh, taking uh, the risk of uh, sponsoring this uh, activity in a big way uh, in response to the um, needs of Patapa to continue developing runners. And uh, I think this is also because of the commitment of Jim, and if you don't mind, I'll speak for him, uh, not only to the sport, but to the country, uh, even if he is miles and thousands of miles away. So with that, I'd like to pass on the uh, screen back to Edward. Thank you, sir. The, the, Dr. Philip Wico, our uh, beloved Pataka president for that uh, a, uh, a opening message to all of us to give us a, a, a background on the upcoming event. And speaking of the event, uh, basically this uh, partnership of Pataka with Fine, Fine Guard and the mother company, its mother, mother company, Fine Hygienics, is so to speak a uh, a, a very timely one and uh, uh, in a way serendipitous uh, we need to have an event to kickstart sort of like the, the the momentum of even regular individuals to get back into regular activity without uh, surmounting or without uh, uh, violating the set uh, guidelines or regulations uh, imposed by our government, uh, go, uh, relevant government agencies. So we need to be more creative, as mentioned by Dr. Philip Rico. But despite creativity, it won't really uh, be, be possible without somebody to partner with you uh, to make it possible. And it's really very, we're very lucky as a federation to have somebody, the person of uh, Mr. Lafferty to be very supportive and uh, agreed to uh, for us to mount this uh, uh, very unique uh, athletics event. Uh, so, uh, Jim, would you uh, would you want to uh, uh, share your thoughts on and your uh, how we came about with this uh, uh, partnership event partnership? No, I uh, thank. I want to thank everyone from the press uh, for being here. Uh, you know, I know it, it. Your time is valuable, so thank you. Uh, those of you who may know, I, I'm an old time supporter of Patafa, you know, going back to Maristela Torres and uh, the Rio Olympics and sponsoring her and coaching her and helping her. Uh, I believe very strongly in Edward Coe and Philip Wico and what they're doing. And I believe in the power of sports to transform a nation. And uh, I firmly believe in the Filipino athlete and the great talent in the Philippines. And it's really just a matter of supporting them. Uh, as you can see what happens with an EJ Obiena, you know, when he gets the right, you know, financial support and the right uh, technical support, uh, you know, he's among the top 10 in the world and he's a clear medal candidate uh, for the Rio Olymp or for the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. And, you know, we speak every day and, uh, you know, he is in top form and, you know, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he's at this point in time in the top three or four vaulters in the world at his current physical fitness level. So, you know, this shows what happens when we can support these folks. So, um, you know, I work for a company in Dubai uh, that <clears throat> is a 65 year old company. It's in the wellness industry, mainly through paper products. And we launched masks right when the pandemic began, we were the world leader in reusable masks. We believe in reusable masks because it's important to protect our environment and to provide value. When you use a daily mask, it's very expensive. Uh, if you look at the cost, if you buy a reusable mask, you can use it for nine months and you can also save the environment. In the Philippines, being 7,109 islands, uh, has beautiful shorelines and beautiful seawater uh, as part of the country. And, you know, I don't want to see that being polluted with disposable masks that don't biodegrade. 
And one of the masks that we developed was a personal project of mine was a sports mask because I kept going to the gym in Dubai with a normal mask and I couldn't breathe. And I, I couldn't get my, I couldn't get air in my lungs and I, I couldn't run and I couldn't do things. And so knowing that we use a technology that's different, uh, there's two ways to protect yourself with a mask. One is filtration. You can wear an N95 and filter uh, bacteria and viruses. There's a problem with N95. Problem number one is you can't breathe because it restricts the airflow to a degree that you can't breathe. The second problem with N95 is N95 means it filters particulate to 95% protection to a size of 0.3 microns, which is uh, not that effective against viruses because the, the coronavirus is much smaller than 0.3, it's 0.125. So you get 95% protection and the virus can pass through the mask. Now, many of you probably didn't know that, but this is all science. And so the second way to protect people is not through filtration, but through a technology in the mass that kills viruses as they pass through. And that's what we have. We have a, a technology called Living Guard, which is using positively charged ions to rupture the membrane. Our kill rate on viruses coming through the mask is 99.9%, validated by University of Arizona, you know, validated by University of Berlin, validated by University of Aachen, and validated by laboratories around the world with various governments. Uh, it's science, it's not fiction, it's completely science. And so what would you rather have, 99% protection or 95% protection? I picked a 99. And the benefit of that is, is that it allows for better airflow. So we created a sports mask of single layer Kali, uh, a combination of, of cotton and lycra. The air passes through it relatively smoothly. I've run 10 kilometer races in this mask. I lift weights with this mask. It's the only mask that I wear. And it's the only mask that many people I know wear. And we designed this with the help of people like EJ Obiena, who was one of our guinea pigs uh, to help us design it. And it has the living guard technology brought in. And so, uh, it, for me, this is a wonderful project because what I can do is provide a mask that helps people train and helps athletes train and helps even normal people just live and in, in, in not be so constricted by a mask. And at the same time, I can help Patafa and I can help the Philippines and I can help the country and I can help sponsor sports. So uh, the idea of the virtual half marathon was really coming from Edward and, and Popoy. And I said, okay, you know, we'll put some money up against it. We'll sponsor it and help out. And so that's how it's all come together. Uh, we have wonderful partners in the distribution side in RPG in the Philippines, which as all of you know, is a long time distributor of many, many brands in the Philippines and, and was part of the Rustans group. And you know, they do a wonderful job. And so Lisette and Evangeline are a wonderful team and uh, you know we've not all known each other for many years going back to my days when i ran procter and gamble in the philippines and so it's great to be here and that's the project thanks a lot jim for uh, that 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 uh backgrounder on our partnership the patafa uh, partnership with uh, uh fine fine guard uh, specifically in, in relation to this upcoming uh virtual event uh, as you mentioned a while ago, uh, that uh, this this product, the Fine Guard Sport Mask, is basically the answer to the need of active individuals. Because when you move around, you tend to increase your need for air, okay, and not just during the during the actual action or the, the actual movement, but also during the recovery. And when there's something that obstructs your airflow, I'm speaking from my per per personal experience. Every time I go to the gym, I don't run, but I lift weights. Every time I lift weights, I have to go out in a, in a fairly uh, safe for my other gym mates to really take off my mask and to breathe because I'm having difficulty in, in recovery. It takes me a long while because, because the mask that I've been, I've been using is really the one, the N95. It's really constricting. And... It, I, I was the reason why I pop up this idea to first to PEJ and then we I sent the uh, the proposal to Jim. It's because of that experience. Uh, 
uh, I was thinking if I am having difficulty in making myself protected during workout strength training only, how much more if I engage in an endurance activity, which really taxes my cardiovascular system and that I wouldn't be able to, su to sustain that activity or the, the, the target time or the target period. And true enough, uh, I tried running, running in, 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 the, in the pace that I want using that, that, that the traditional mass. I, I wasn't able to sustain without me cheating to take off uh, every now and then. So I think that this is the, uh, it, it's a timely uh, product for, for regular individuals like me, active individuals, and also individuals like you working, you hustle, you move around. Uh, and uh, very, uh, as, as I mentioned a while ago, it's very uh, uh, almost uh, uh, a gift, okay, this, this, uh, this event, especially for runners. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, run, I'm going to run down the as, as, as snip, snippets of information about the event so that you'll get the, the gist of how the event will unfold, especially for the participants. So let me share my uh, screen again. And then reversed the US with. Oh. That's Jim. Okay, so the big event. So, uh, so basically, the, the name of the event, the uh, the official name of the event is the Fine Guard Sport National Half Marathon Virtual Challenge. So, why is it national? Because we would like everyone from across the Philippines to participate in this uh, half marathon event, but virtually. Okay, that's why in one of our uh, visual elements in our uh, event logo. It represents different uh, landmarks in the Philippines, uh, from the northernmost uh, province, which is Batanes, as you can see that lighthouse, down to the south uh, southern provinces of Mindanao and uh, the Visayas. So that's very. We chose uh, these uh, visual elements uh, uh, to be able to signify to a specific uh, relatable location. But it doesn't mean that. Uh, people from other parts of the country who are not visually represented here uh, are, are, are not considered. So this, this event is really for everyone, in, in, those who are into running or would want to uh, experience the joy of running despite the limitations of this pandemic and uh, to explore the, uh, the, the, their available uh, environment uh, and get to be part of this exciting virtual challenge. So, uh, First thing, how to register. They have uh, participants who would want to uh, take part in this virtual challenge. They have to, just to log in in our Patafa website, uh, www.philathletics.org. And the registration date starts on Monday, January 25, all the way to February 21. And the run dates, February 22 to 28. What does that mean? So you register. And then uh, uh, if you, uh, once your, uh, uh, your registration uh, details have been validated. You would be re you would receive an, an email notification, okay? And then you could run any time between uh, February twenty two to twenty eight, okay? Uh, so this uh, activity or this event is open to participants with age range of eighteen to fifty nine because we have to comply to the IATF restrictions of age uh, 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 individuals who could go out. Uh, of their house. So 21, it's a 21K distance. It, uh, the participants are required to cover this distance in one continuous session of running within one day, okay? It's in the installment the next day. So that's one day only, but any time of the day, okay? Or, or day within the race of the race period. So that's the, uh, so it, it, with the virtual races, so in this case, a virtual half marathon of Fine Guard, uh, the, the participants have a lot of leeway to prepare and to do uh, the racing, okay? So they can run anytime, anywhere in the Philippines, and they could also run 
uh, if they don't have like that uh, uh, scenic environment, they can still uh, uh, opt to choose to run on a treadmill inside the, in the in the gym, okay, to complete the required distance. So, but it, uh, it, if outdoors, which is uh, uh, a better option, uh, runners may choose to, uh, their own course, okay, starting point all the way to the finishing stop, and then participants may opt to walk. So it's not this is not limited to those who are really competitive runners. Huh? It is also uh, we really also welcome those who are just normal or uh, simply enjoy the the fun or the, the the comfort of walking. Okay, so participants may opt to walk some some or large portions of the distance or take several pit stops. Okay. The naman sa ating procedure, uh, which would, which are itemized in detail sa ating registration na uh, uh, landing site ng uh, website, uh, naka-identify naka naman uh, what would be the requisites in uh, in completing the race. Okay, and then participants must comply, of course, with the minimum health standards set by the government and cognate agencies in taking part with a virtual challenge. Specifically, all participants need to wear a mask. Okay, and to make sh to make it uh, really enticing for uh, race participants to avail of the the product and the benefits of the product of Pine Guard Sport Mask, uh, we came up with two exciting contests. Okay, for the race, uh, the first contest uh, category is the most photogenic course awards. So top three, first, second, third, and then. The second uh, uh, contest is the most unlimited runner. How, how do I explain the most unlimited runner? It is basically, look, we're looking for runners, top three runners, who would be able to convey, of course, based on the snapshot he or she would send us uh, through the, the, their uh, participation account, uh, who could convey could convey a, a, a sense of uh, good vibes, okay? Or could motivate other individuals to get out, to uh, do the, to engage in the running activity, okay? Specifically also, uh, since our period of registration is long enough to accommodate everyone who's interested, take part in the virtual, the, the Fine Guard National Half Marathon Virtual Challenge. And also, uh, to spice up the competition amongst participants, I said it, you'll be more motivated to to compete in an uh, to join in an activity. If there's in a way some sort of competition, okay? So uh, their performance performance of participants will be uh, categorized, okay, according to three tiers. So the first tier is uh, titled Gold League, okay. Uh, yung mga gold league uh, participants would have to submit a performance time of 1 hour 30 or faster, okay? 1 hour 30 minutes. And then if they cannot uh, uh, clock that uh, uh, running time, uh, the next league or tier would be the silver league. It's it, the, the time range is the finishing time, uh, uh, finishing time range is one hour, 30 minutes and one second, up to one hour, one hour and 59 minutes, okay? And then the third tier is the bronze league, one hour, 59 and minutes and one second or higher, okay? So tatlong tierings yan. So if you are a bit competitive, you really would want to target to belong to the gold league, okay? So, and we have two options to join, okay? Uh, we uh, Option A is uh, you pay through GCash, okay, 700 pesos. Uh, or option B, you could join the, the, the virtual race by just paying 200 pesos, okay? Uh, what, is the what are the inclusions for these two options? Uh, I'll, in the next slide, I will, uh, I will uh, discuss. Uh, aside from that, uh, all participants would get a 20% discount voucher uh, for fine guard sport mask purchase, okay, in store or online. But we're still working out with uh, uh, Evangeline, the team of Evangeline, how this will be uh, affected, okay. And uh, all participants uh, in their uh, 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 racing account, virtual racing account, they could submit as many photos of their actual uh, running per performance so that uh, those photos and even videos 
would be collated and uh, be edited to be part of a virtual uh, collage of virtual race participants. So this is our way of celebrating each other's activity and an achievement and uh, making everyone part of a community, community even virtually, uh, to convey the message that we run together, together even apart. Okay, so kasi there's a sense of like parang uh, dissociation eh, or uh, this disengagement ang nakreate nitong pandemic. Eh. So we want to slowly bring people together in a safe uh, in a safe manner muna. Okay, so this uh, Fine Guard National Half Marathon uh, Virtual Challenge is. I think one way to restart that, that connection that uh, every individual, active individual needs. Okay, so this is the red shirt design. So for those who would take the option, option A of registering you by paying 700 pesos, they would get this, okay, dry fit uh, red shirt and also a race with. Okay, so they could wear that during the, the time and day that they would run and uh, record or uh, document their actual performance. Okay, and... Uh, uh, for the two contests I mentioned, okay, ang isa sa requirement is that, uh, okay, uh, requisite is that the entry or the participant should be wearing the fine guard sport mask, okay? Okay, so dapat kasama yun sa picture. He's wearing the fine guard sport. Uh, that's one of the uh, criteria for uh, the entry, each entry to be submitted by the race participants. So three winners we will get for that first uh, first uh, contest, the most photogenic course awards, and then uh, three also three winners for the most unlimited runner award. So top, top three runners. So this further would make everyone who's uh, excited to or interested to join the Fine Guard National Half Marathon Virtual Challenge uh, more engaging and more exciting. More exciting. Uh, I'd like to request Ms. Evangeline Bumagat, uh, marketing manager for the uh, Fine Guard Sport Mask brand, uh, to also to further explain to us the the product benefit. Okay, because I've tried already the using it, eh, the, the, the 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 Fine Guard Sport Sport Mask, eh. and I have my own uh, assessment. Okay, positive. Okay. Uh, but uh, let's hear it from the, the, the expert herself so that she'll be able to give uh, the, the, uh, uh, the fine uh, features of the product. Uh, Ms. Evangeline. Hello. Hello, Miss Evangeline, Miss Bumagat. Okay, uh, yeah, hindi pa natin. Uh, meron ding uh, technical glitch si, si Miss Evangeline eh. Katulad ka akin kanina, there's something wrong with the audio. So uh, anyway, so uh, while we're, we're waiting for her to fix her uh, uh, audio, let's, uh, so let's, uh, maybe we could, uh, we could uh, start with our uh, open forum first, so that uh, Dr. Philip, uh, Sir Popoy would be able to answer some of your questions uh, on this event and maybe in relation to other forthcoming partnership with FineGuard. Because it's just an opening salvo. And even also, uh, Jim could also answer some of your queries if you have. So guys, friends, if you have any question, uh, it's time you could uh, shoot it now. Or you could uh, direct message it to our chat uh, chat box while we're waiting for uh, Ms. Evangeline. Might as well begin. Oh. Uh, yes, Bong. So all of this will be using what kind of app to measure the distance uh kasi madami mga apps right there eh. yes, eh, bakang, yes. so you uni for uniformity what kind of app are we are you advising them to use great question okay uh 
basically, we are not restricting uh, uh, runners to use a particular app. Actually, there's Strava, there's MyRun. What we decided is for them, okay, tatlong items lang i-upload nila aside from the other pictures of their run, okay? Uh, the picture, they take a screenshot of picture of their actual start time, okay? Actual start time. Sa clock, ha? O ng kanilang either face, uh, ng mobile handset or ng kanilang watch na may GPS. And then, the actual finish time, okay, of uh, their uh, running performance and the total distance covered as measured by the app or by their GPS uh, embedded uh, uh, facility in their watch. So in that way, we will be able to validate their actual run. Hindi na kami kailangan pumunta doon sa app nila. So that is just... Uh, so yun, it's it's basically uh, of course we want, we are not saying that it's a foolproof uh, uh, scheme, but it minimizes it and, and it also it motivates them to be more uh, forthright, okay? To be more forthright, to be more honest, okay? Because he screenshot nila yung actual time, the, the mm. clock start, not the actual, uh, not the zero zero, ah. Like for example, nakalagay sa sa kanilang mobile, it's four twenty one now. You know, kung ano nila start time. That was the actual finish time, clock time. Eh, uh, screenshot din nila, pi picture nila. And then the to to be to 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 uh, what to correlate that to the uh, elapsed time. Ang pangatlong item na picture is yung distance covered as measured by the GPS. Ah, uh, so so balit may mga three more or less uh, criteria kayo to determine whether the timing of the runner or entry is authentic or not. Yes. Kung totoo talaga yes. o hindi. So, yes. yun ang tatlong conditions. Mm. Kasi may Sinimplify mga... Sinimplify namin. Mm. Mm. Kasi hindi, al alam naman namin na hindi lahat yan ang techie. Eh. Not all runners or not, not all outdoor runners have access to different uh, apps or especially mga senior ones. They're not mm. really... Even me! I'm not that techie. nag rely lang ako sa GPS... Uh, 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 what you call this uh, program sa watch ko. Other than that, I don't use any other app. So, so to make it parang mas uh, parang i-average lang yung uh, access or uh, 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 knowledge on the available technology, sinimplihan namin. Although may, ang criteria nyo, ano, uh, Ed, 18 to 59, pero yes. dito, time-based eh. So, yes. yung time-based, so yung 40-year-old 40, 40 runner, for example, pwedeng mag-compete sa 130 kung gusto niya or, yes. top, or, or dun sa ano. Kung, kung baga, uh, on the other hand, kung talagang ano naman, may, like for example, yung leisure, leisure, leisure runner, runner lang talaga, yung 18-year-old eight, and below mag-compete sa mm -hmm. bronze. Yes. Oh. So, so, in other words, uh, ito time based in the age base kasi nasanay tayo na age base eh, sa actual run sa face to face oh, running oh. yes kasi pag uh, pag uh, yung may age bracket it's really focusing in the competition na talaga eh. it's categorizing mm. it it's like this is incentivizing uh, participation and make it parang more uh, enticing to compete okay? without mm. totally making them hyper competitive Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, well, thank you for that. I like that. I like that question. Oh, and Jim, oh yes. Uh, Jim, can we ask? Uh, have runners in the Philippines tried your mask already? Some of them, even recreational runners. And yeah, mainly. Mainly recreational. I've I've sent many, and you know we've had an online site. Even before we started business with RPG, we had an online global site, thefineshop.com, and Philippines was was up there with the United States and some European countries with the most orders. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, there's ah, been okay. there's been a number of people that love it, and I, I think what's happened with the sports mask, it's not sports anymore. Because as an example, when I left Dubai over Christmas to to go out of the country briefly all of the security in the Dubai airport were wearing the fine guard sport. And I stopped and talked to the guy and he said, look, it's just because 
I can breathe for my eight hour shift. Mm. I mean, it, it, you know, it's about convenience because here's the simple truth about a mask. If you drop it down below your nose, it's useless. Yes. And, and so if you don't wear a mask right, it doesn't matter whether it's N95 or not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mm. work. So, right. you know, pro the role number one is, is to get people to wear the mask right. And to do that, you've got to make it comfortable. So this being cotton and lycra and soft and not rough paper. And it also fastens on the back of your neck. It doesn't go around your ears and irritate your earlobes. This is the mask. I mean, I don't, I haven't worn any other mask for the last seven months than this mask, just because once you put it on, it, you know, it's like silk underwear. You, you just love it and you don't wear anything else. Well, uh, at least we'll wear something else besides the mask. Just joking, just joking. <laughs> uh, just to butt in, every one of us will uh, will be given by a fine guard with this uh, wonderful uh, sport mask. All yeah. right, thank you. Uh, again, again, you're 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 obviously in Dubai uh, right now. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, Jim? sir. Yes. Uh, sir. How's the how's the running scene there right now? With uh, mask. Very, Look, because the weather, uh, the daytime temperature is 24 and the nighttime temperature is 17, uh, when I'm out running, it's full of runners. By the way, marhaba. Uh, I know a little bit of Arabic. Anyway. Uh, shokran Habibi. So, <laughs> ma, ma, mafi muskila. Anyway, sorry. So, sorry. That, yeah. That's digressing. That's digressing. So, uh, yeah, the... Um, the running scene here is, is quite good. Uh, I don't think it's as passionate as the Philippines, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, per se. I mean, the, the Philippines is really a tremendous growth. I mean, when you look at the number of races, I mean, uh, Dubai has nothing like, uh, you know, the marathon capital before the pandemic, the marathon capital of the world was Manila. There was, I mm -hmm. think, eight marathons in Manila. There's no other city in the world with eight marathons. So Dubai has one. There's one marathon here, the Dubai Marathon in January. That's it. There's no other marathon. And, and so the, the running scene here is good, but it's not of the vibrancy that you have in the Philippines. All right. We'll give way to the some in the chat room. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, thanks a lot, Bong. So that we will uh, we'll have a, a fair idea, a, a, a more uh, detailed <clears throat> idea of the product. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to request Ms. Uh, Lizette uh, de Guzman, uh, the general manager, yeah. to give us a, 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 a more detailed uh, description uh, yeah. and, uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, Hi. Yeah, I'm speaking for Vanji because I think she has audio technical problems. So as, as Jim uh, already gave you a, you know, a, a background about the product, Fine guard uh, mask, specific, specifically for the sport version. Again, it's breathable, it's comfortable, it's protected by the live-in guard technology, which you know kills 99.9% .9 of uh, viruses and bacteria upon contact. So this mask is actually, uh, yeah. Thanks, Edward, for sharing. Uh, it's already available uh, in the Philippine market uh, online through Lazada and Zalora. We're also available in uh, True Value, uh, some access channels. We're also in Marketplace, um, Rustan's Department Stores, and Beauty Bar. So we're also available online in Watson's and in the uh, True Value uh, online platforms. So I think we just, uh, you mentioned earlier, Edward, about the 20% discount. So with that, the, the promotion, the participants can avail of the 20% uh, discount through vouchers that will be sent uh, through a link, uh, which they can avail of. Initially, I think we've, we've uh, 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 come into an arrangement, I think, for a voucher redemption through Lazada online via link. And we're exploring the QR codes as well. Not sure yet for the for the retailers, but it's work in progress. But we will be able to update uh, everyone on the mechanics. But surely it's going to be through a link, uh, that, uh, through a voucher that they can claim via online purchase. That would be a, a perfect and, and a very uh, exciting yeah. uh, inf piece of information for actually the the sports mask in comes in in a box of two two yeah. mask pieces in a box. So 
knowing you know uh, active people you sweat so you can replace one already during the day as you wash the other one or for the next day use so it comes uh, Lizette, uh, just a question how many times uh, could you use it because I, I know this is washable I haven't I haven't started you can use it for a I'm year keeping it it's okay. a year about yeah it's, it's a year uh -huh. so you can wash it uh, depending on use uh, on the average you can use it you can wash it uh, daily or twice thrice a week uh, hand wash uh, this, it, this, this also goes for the other variants of uh, of uh, fine guard mask because we also have the comfort and the n95 uh, uh, variant one thing I noticed one thing I noticed about the, the, this mask is that it, mm -hmm. uh, it compared to the regular mask or some other like fashionable looking mask is that it has sort of like a strap around the mm -hmm. neck what was it what what's what's its uh, sort of like its uh, yes, yeah, uh, it's rational, yeah yeah uh, it's really for, for comfort the design. And yeah mm -hmm. has, yeah more breathable and comfortable so you can you know use it every day as jim said without really being conscious that uh, you are wearing a mask it's very comfortable mm -hmm. even for whole day use okay so that, that that's that strap around uh, that under the chin is supposed to sort of like uh, maintain its position. Yeah, stay in uh, place. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, because that's what I noticed when yeah. I. Yeah, and the participants should try it. You 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 see the difference once you received your 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 masks. So yeah, I mean, that you know, when you're running or bouncing, a normal mask that's only on the ears can move and shift and be uncomfortable. This is. Lycra, it stretches, it's very comfortable. You can do gymnastics. I mean, EJ, I've got videos of EJ vaulting five meters 50 in the mask. I mean, you can't do that in a standard mask, not only from a breathability standpoint, but stability on your face. Yeah. It, it needs to be stable and, yeah. and it takes pressure off your ears. Exactly, uh, I could relate to what Jim mentioned because when you really are an active individual, especially when you're engaged in a, uh, a relatively moderate to uh, heavy, heavy kind of uh, exertion, it tends to be, if you have something that obstructs your movement or your breathing, it tends to be, you feel some sense of irritation. You get, up, get to be out of zone. So there's a, like a, instead of you being para enjoying the experience you get to be <laughs> and because the, but the, with, with with this uh, face mask with the comfort of this face mask based on the, the feature product feature you mentioned i think that the run the runner would be really be into that kind uh, into the zone of uh, the experience uh, the running experience so that's, that's the reason why we came up with the uh, with the two contest categories the most uh uh, uh Photogenic, photogenic. Okay, race route, and then the most unlimited runner. So, ito yung sa unlimited runner, dito papasok yung mga gustong mag, uh, uh, what do you call this, mag, uh, mag selfie na, mm. na happy shot, those things, those kind of things. So that's the reason why we came up with this. Uh, that, that you would be able to convey the 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 the, uh, the comfort and the efficacy of the product at the same time, uh, under underscoring the the experience, the the fun part of the experience. Uh, I have a question here from Bea. Sabi niya, okay, uh, it's, I think it has uh, something to do with the general uh, 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 situation here on virtual running uh, based on our sort of like our monitoring of the uh, the 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 scene okay the running scene uh, on the average there are about uh, two one to two virtual runs every week okay so that's that that attests to what the gym mentioned that uh, how prolific uh, the philippines especially manila is even during this time of the pandemic people don't stop running okay and uh, that's the reason also what we came up with to, to we sort of like stylize virtual run uh, to make it more enjoyable and uh, uh, mas memorable, mas mag, mag uh, So, uh, so that I hope I, I answered uh, Bea's uh, question. So, uh, experience other people. So basically, uh, because if if the virtual virtual run is not really uh, uh, making an impression then we won't be able to see them every week. Diba? Sana na ganun na, nag-flop uh, na. 
So that means that there's a really a market for the virtual 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 races. And also to make it uh, parang to make it uh, more uh, uh, kayang ipagyabang ng mga participants, all participants performances and names will be published in the Patafa website. So for the first time, their names, your performance would be in the uh, Patafa records, okay? And categorized in Gold League, Silver League, and Bronze League. So meaning to say, your name would be uh, grouped together with your uh, uh, like a national level athlete or even an international caliber runner. So published in the Patafa website and then also it uh, would be uh, mirrored in Patafa page, uh, Facebook uh, page. So si Brian, my uh, question, uh, just curious, is there sort of a fail-safe ruling in place? Accuracy uh, could be questioned on this kind of app used. Uh, so how would you address complaints in the event something is wrong? Uh, it's, it's race. Uh, that's, essentially, that's the reason why we are not, uh, we are uh, uh, tempering the aspect of competition. Uh, one, so that people wouldn't be too pressured, highly competitive people wouldn't be too, too pressured to really to submit a, a, a scorching uh, race performance. Of course, we want people to be competitive. Okay? That's the reason why we came up with these steering categorizations. But for, uh, to, to, to make sure that the, the data that they submit uh, to us would be uh, highly verifiable, 100%. Uh, there's no, there's no really, we, 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 we cannot give a like 100% guarantee that it's uh, some, some participant won't sub, submit some erroneous or misrepresented uh, uh, numbers or time. Okay, it's up to them because we want to. Ang gusto namin emphasize dito is the the idea of running uh, free, running free. Of course, within the the safety uh, regulations, but running free, running on your own, on your own, uh, on your own terms, and with you uh, determining the outcome of your performance. So, kung ikaw sa sa gantong virtual marathon, I think it's uh, pretty useless to to attempt to cheat, <laughs> di ba? Una una kasi wala naman wala bukod sa cheering wala naman placement na parang first place mananalo ng ganito instead sa quality namin inallocate yung contest quality of the run that's why there's the most photogenic race course and the most unlimited runner unlimited runner most fun runner okay so quality rather than the actual uh, uh, race performance okay we will just uh, base uh, our categorization on their actual on the, on the search, submitted uh, information to us based on what I mentioned to to Bong. Okay. Uh, next, si Ivan Stewart, nagtanong uh, Saldehano. Since you said that there are special prices as long as you wear fine guard, are the runners actually required to wear? No, we're not. It's it's, it's not really mandatory, but we would love you to run to run yeah. with uh, <laughs> using fine guard. One, it's because it's the the proof the proof of the pudding is in the eating, eh, di ba? So that's the only way you would find out uh, if what we've been telling you here in this uh, virtual press conference is true or or not. Because it's you would have to be you would have to use it in an actual uh, environment, performance environment. Uh, will there be some incentives to the top runner for it here? The the incentive that I I mentioned a while ago is that their names would be published in the national uh, in the website of patafa so meaning to say they would be officially part of the patafa records okay walang ibang race virtual race na naglalabas ng you're part of the uh, national uh, athletics federation record okay so that's what that's what we also would want to highlight here we are uh, maximizing our available uh, resources and our sort of like our, our status as a federation, okay? And this is also, this virtual half marathon goes really uh, in side by side in parallel to the uh, activity being pushed also by World Athletics. So this also, this uh, uh, half marathon, uh, fine guard sport mass half marathon, virtual national virtual half marathon, we will also 
convey this, relay this to World Athletics, and even the result, we would uh, send this to them. So because they, they, they also, they've been keeping top of us, uh, how we are uh, further pushing the envelope for athletics, specifically for running, okay? Uh, yun. Uh, next question, how much, yun, yun ang million dollar question. Uh, I was told of the price and uh, I, I, comparative ano ko is the, another brand. And uh, I mentioned to Jim that it's fairly very affordable. How much is the mask? You know, uh, question, uh, Ms. Lizette. Yeah, it's, it's two, the price. sport mask is 2195, but it comes in two pieces, two masks per box, as mentioned. And, so two, one, and considering the number of times that you would be able to use one piece. Yeah, it's like you can wash it 50 times yeah. or you can, it will last for a year, depending on use. So it would come off really as very, I don't know, very yes. economical. Economic, even if you compare to disposable masks. Plus, yes. of course, the level of protection is not parallel. Yes. And it's also very sustainable because it's it's in support of the environment. You don't have to re mm -hmm. like use a disposable yeah. mask, throw it away, and then let. That's the comfort. The I mean, there's no way to compare the comfort, breathability, and the protection. Yes, yes. So exactly. So SRP is two one nine five sport version. How many versions are there? Well, we have the as mentioned. We have the comfort, uh, which is uh, basically for everyday wear and a version which is the N95 with a valve. But for this, okay, so, but this, yeah. this one is the most app uh, appropriate for, for our yeah, for this event and this, this yeah. market that we're mm -hmm. dealing with mm -hmm. now. Oh. And for people who move around, even yeah. sports writers. Yeah, it's like an yeah, active lifestyle. Uh, because this is not the usual half marathon, would there be a cut of time? No, there's no cut of time. Yung ang sinabi natin, any time of the day, okay? Uh, basta yung running session nyo would be in one complete session. Pwedeng tumigil pit stop, pero hindi pwedeng uh, installment na the next day, yung next part. <laughs> Dapat in, in that uh, day that you started, you finish. But there's no particular time because that's a good thing about the virtual marathon. Wala tayong wala tayong i-egress eh. O i-ingress na set up. <laughs> So, yun, uh, so may mga questions other than the race. Uh, yes, of course, uh, uh, because uh, Fine Guard uh, Sport Mass is, uh, this is just the beginning of the uh, parang salvo, opening salvo of the partnership of Patafa and, and Fine Guard. So, if you have any question, maybe we'll be able to uh, answer be also because uh, Sir PJ is still with us and J Jim. Okay. So, but before that, para sa mga fashion conscious, ano ang colors? Oh, the basic like color, the yeah. It's, yeah. I, do you have the black one? Yeah, the, the, the yeah. one that I opened, yeah. Generally black with the sport. And essentially black is the new, uh, most neutral color. No? Mm -hmm. It goes with any other uh, uh, color that you wear. Yep. Actually, I don't have any other face mask except uh, as before, I have this light blue medical mask, which is really <laughs> unsightly. <laughs> Good thing there's this uh, black colored mask. Anyway, fine guard masks are available in two colors, black and navy, navy blue. Okay, so for any other question, aside from this, uh, I think uh, we have fairly covered the uh, mechanics of that. And I'll send you the, 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 the event brief. Yes, Christelle, go ahead, please. Um. So, ma, iba naman po tayo regarding dun sa mga ibang uh, matters of athletics. Sir, I heard yes. that uh, uh, you're planning a training bubble for the national athletes. Can we have updates on our national athletes training? Yes, uh, Sir PJ would uh, be able to answer that. Uh, Sir Philip? Sir, uh, sir? Yeah. I just unmuted myself. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, we have a training camp, a training bubble at the New Clark City where the Sea Games were held. It was supposed to have started the other day, January 18, but because of the so many documentary requirements uh, that were uh, uh, created or that emerged because 
of extra caution, the so-called abundance of caution because of this uh, variant uh, that people are now talking about. Uh, there are additional requirements and uh, additional costs. Like for example, the swabbing, uh, our athletes will undergo swab test about seven, seven times during the two months they will be there during the training camp and for the national open, which will take place March 26 to 28. So we have the bubble, yes, and we will have uh, almost 40 athletes and coaches there uh, that's, uh, who will take part. Uh, and they will be preparing, aspiring for the Olympics and preparing for the Southeast Asian Games in Vietnam. And uh, sir, let, uh, to add, sir, uh, in connection with the fi with Fine Guard uh, partnership with Patafa uh, and the uh, training bubble, uh, and con in connection to what Ria is asking, uh, officially, Fine Guard Sport Mask would be the uh, official sport performance mask of the na na National Athletics Team, Philippine Athletics Team Filipinas. So, and it solves. Uh, actually, it's, I, I, as I mentioned, it's very serendipitous. Fine Guard coming in because Jim is really. <laughs> always the very dependable uh, friend of the Federation. It's, it solves one of the problems that we have for the training bubble. Because one, we have to comply with the uh, minimum health standards of the IATF. So uh, our athletes need to be wearing face masks, okay? Uh, and so of course there would be some people other than the team who would be monitoring us. Uh, we need to have we need them to have to be wearing masks even during their training so we were thinking because it's kind of hard to train high performance if you're wearing this this normal surgical or n95 mask because you are exerting so much effort i mentioned a while ago yung recovery pala maapektuhan eh. so that sort of like a, this uh, fine guard being the official performance mask of the national answers this predicament because they don't want, they won't need to really rip it off during training because it's there already and it's uh, very comfortable. And uh, I, in, when we start that national the, the training bubble, our athletes would be themselves would be able to attest to that to that uh, unique selling proposition of uh, of the product of Fine Guard Sport. So thank you so much to Fine Guard and to Jim and to the team of Lizette and uh, Evangeline. So and of course they sent us right away upon getting the 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 uh, the, the uh, communication from us that we will be starting with the training bubble. They sent us right away a sports mask for the athlete, national athletes. Ganang ka kamal ng ng fine guard ng national team kagad. Nandito sa akin, so nakatambak sa akin. Hinintay pa lang magsimula ang aming sports mask. And even for you guys, so expect it within 48 hours that you will receive it in your in your door, doorstep. Sir, uh, new date for that for that. Sir, the training bubble. Well, it has been scheduled to January 25, which is this Monday, which I doubt. So again, it will be moved, uh, moved back probably first week of February. <clears throat> Thank you so much, sir. And speaking of the no, yung uh, fine guard sport masa, uh, it's uh, I'm I'm not making bola ha. As you notice, maybe uh -huh. the EJ is not clearly that clear. EJ was using the the sport mask during his competition, even during that the actual jump. So uh -huh. it really speaks of the of the uh, comfort of the mask. Because some some masks, when you sort of like get to elevate your physiological readiness for performance, uh -huh. you have to rip it off because. Yeah, but during EJ's competition, he was wearing it all throughout. So that alone, and he's an Olympian already, yeah. So if you're an Olympian, a bit more pick particular and um, parang mas mapili ka na, eh, di ba? So hopefully, it, it would be uh, the same uh, case for our other national athletes. Yes, guys. Uh, I think uh, yes. marami pang magda. Yes, Peter. Yes. Uh, Nasa ka? Nasa studio? Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> Okay, malapit mo nang palitan yan. In my uh oh, in my hideout. Uh do you, do you hear me? Yes, am yes. I am I coming in? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh I just like to ask Lisette Santos. 
uh, the Guzman. Uh, there are three types of masks, no? the, 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 the comfort, the N95, and the fine guard sports mask, right? Yeah, the N95, yeah. Why did we have to make three, three kinds of masks? What, what, how does it differ to one another? Uh, well, basically, the N95 is really the, the version with the valve. So it's really more protective. And initially, it was designed for more medical use yeah. no, in that specific environment. So the, the second one is comfort, which is, I guess, the more, you know, more versatile one because you can wear it for everyday use. It's, it's very comfortable. Uh, uh, and it's like the basic uh, SKU, the basic version of the masks. And the newest addition, which is, I would say, is our baby now, is the sport version, which is different in the sense that instead of just ear loops here, it, it ties around your head. So ito yung version talaga na for more active people, for more movement uh, on a continued basis. But in terms of level of protection against uh, viruses and bacteria, they, they give the same protection because all masks are protected by the living guard technology. So it's really up to you, your lifestyle. Uh, but, but based on experience, people would stick more with uh, either comfort or for younger and more, co more active people they would prefer the, the sport version. So it's really, it really depends on your lifestyle, but all three uh, kinds of uh, fine guard masks are available in the market. It's just that this, this particular you know, um, market and this particular event, we are really pushing for the sport version because athletes and more active people would really need something like this more than the two other uh, masks. Is it, you, I, I hope you don't. Okay, go go ahead, Peter. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. I, I hope you don't mind my asking because you know, I, I'm sure you've also encountered this uh, in um, uh, it's going into several establishments. Now, there are establishments who, uh, that require a certain mask, like surgical mask, or for medical reasons, no? especially in hospitals. Now, uh, the reason why I ask is because your N95 has a valve. Yes. Uh, yeah, my, my wife is immunocompromised and the, uh, the doctor says don't get a nine, N95 with a, with a bulb because, uh, well, she won't be infected, but she can infect. So they do not yeah. like uh, the Actually, N95. Yeah, yeah so, let me, let me. Yes, Jim has heard this issue for a long, for the long time. Let me, let me, let me step in on this okay look i mean we were the we were one of the first people in the world to launch mask i launched the mask on february 5 when people weren't even talking about coronavirus was just being hitting the press now at the time we started with an n95 why because that was the standard of the industry established by 3m company uh, the n95 standard and most N95s had a valve on it. Now, why did they have a valve on it? For, for heat elimination, because the N95 doesn't breathe. So when you breathe inside of it, it gets very hot. And so valves were put on it to, to basically allow the heat to come out. Now, why did they have valves on it? Because 3M didn't design the mask for, for pathogens. It was designed for dust and for painting and for people who are are spray painting houses. And so it was more, it didn't matter what you breathed out, it mattered what you breathed in. So it was a one way valve that protected you as you breathed in, but as you breathe out, it would allow things to cool. Now, we made the mask on that standard and all of the testing was being done on our mask at a later date. Now, as, as time went on, we realized that if you wanna protect against a germ, Having a valve is not optimal because it protects you, but it doesn't protect other people because yeah. you, you breathe out the germ. Now, let's be transparent. It's not like everything you breathe out goes out through the valve. So the, a mask with a valve is better than no mask at all, but it does allow some of your breath to go out. So because of that, and because we then had data from the University of Arizona that showed that our mask had a 99.9% .9 kill rate Without the filter, we launched the comfort. And we launched the comfort because you don't need N95 with the comfort mask. 
Now, the Comfort is a two layer, two layers of living guard. It's easier to breathe, but it's still not good enough to, to, to go and run a marathon. Mm. And so after that, we worked with designers and we worked with other with experts. And in June of this year of 2020, we launched the sports mask. And that's why we have different masks. Now, uh, you know, some people, they just want N95. And so we have an N95, but I tell everyone, don't buy the N95. Uh, you know, buy the comfort, buy the sport mask. You don't, none of my, you know, I love my children. I have five children. I don't have any of my kids wearing an N95. Mm -hmm. You know, but the problem with the N95 is, is it became like this mystical, it, it almost became like a magical. Like people say, I need an N95. You don't need an N95. And in fact, the comfort mask protects you at a higher percentage than an N95. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, so it, the, you know, the problem is, is it is, is, you know, if you want to know the story is one, most masks were designed not for germs, but for dust and for pollution and for paint, you know, it, it, when you're spray painting something. And so it was designed to, to trap those particles, but viruses can go right through an N95. They're smaller than the filtration uh, of the mask. And, and, you know, secondly, all of the testing that's being done in many countries of the world is, is testing on an old concept called filtration. The new science is now textiles that, that kill germs on contact. And that's the future. I think by the time there's a next pandemic, there won't even be an N95 because it won't be, it doesn't matter. You're filtering something that you don't need to do that. And it makes breathing very difficult. So that's why we have those masks. Uh, I admit that, you know, all things being considered, uh, I would use the comfort mask as, in general life. And, and my view is, is masks, my friend, are like clothes. You wear one type of shirt when you go to work and you wear another type of shirt when you go to dinner. If you want to go to the gym, you take a sports mask. If you want to walk around the mall, maybe you wear the comfort mask. I mean, it's just like clothing. You, you, you choose depending upon the situation. Jim, I have two questions. Uh, just to uh, dovetail on what you what you've been mentioning, uh, is it is, is it correct for me to say that the uh, Fine Guard Sport Mask is the offshoot of the evolution of your product development? And uh, all, and the next one is uh, would 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 uh, am I correct also to assume that Fine Guard Sport Mask is the most versatile of the three products that you have in line? Okay, number one. For me as an active individual. Number one, this Fine Guard Sports Mask is basically my creation and my wife's creation. My wife is a yoga trainer because we were we were unsatisfied with our ability to breathe and keep a mask on. And so it was basically created by us. And then we worked with expert designers and we worked with the Living Guard company to, to design the fabric. Uh, that so it was an evolution that was based upon my frustration that I still couldn't breathe when I was in a gym and I want to protect myself. I'm in a gym with 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 20 other people that are all breathing and breathing heavy. I want to be protected. And, and so uh, that, you know, that that was that was the first thing. The second thing is, in my opinion, I tell everyone buy the sports mask because it's it's the ultimate in comfort and if you're not comfortable in the mask you won't wear it right if you don't wear the mask right it's useless and you know just a fun of uh, you know it's not a fun fact but an interesting fact you know every year of my life i've always gotten at least one cold or one illness uh you know not i'm not a sick person at all but i would get you know i, tra I travel on airplanes you sit on airplanes people cough and you end up picking up a cough I have not been sick since December 20th of uh, 2019. And, it, you know, and here in the middle of a pandemic, the healthiest year of my life has been the last 14 months. And it's because of this mask. Because what most of the sicknesses you get are respiratory that are transmitted through airborne viruses and bacteria. When you wear this mask and it's killing everything, uh, you don't get sick. I haven't been sick since December of the previous year. 
uh, you know, back in 2019. And so I've already made a decision, even though I'm getting vaccinated next week, when I'm on airplanes the rest of my life, I will wear the sports mask because even before the pandemic, I was always getting sick from air travel. And I've, I've been on planes now many times since this pandemic. I'm never sick. I'm never sick because I'm wearing a mask and I don't breathe in other people's viruses. And so I'm wearing this mask even when this thing is long gone, I'm gonna wear it on airplanes because I'm not gonna wear it on the street. I mean, you know, nobody loves wearing a mask, but on an airplane, I'm gonna wear a mask the rest of my life because it, it's wonderful and it keeps you healthy. It gives you a, a sense of uh, peace of mind. Oh, Peter, I think you still have a follow-up yeah. question. Uh, uh, James, uh, if I was going to buy only one mask, what would you advise me to buy? Because uh, is it the comfort, uh, the comfort mask or the sports mask? Sports mask. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Even because that's what's happened. I mean, I, I, every day in Dubai, Peter, I see people that aren't athletes wearing. It, it's like a Nike shoe. I mean, go to a Nike store in Greenbelt. You see people in there that aren't runners buying running shoes. Why are they buying the running shoes? Because it's the most comfortable pair of shoes that they can find. They don't, they, they have no intention of running a five kilometer race, but they, they enjoy the feel of walking around Greenbelt or Glorietta wearing a nice pair of shoes. This is where the sports mask is going. The people are wearing it now. I see people in malls here in Dubai wearing the sports mask. Trust me, they're not doing any sports. Okay, it's, yeah, it's yeah. quite obvious. If so my, I think, yeah, just one more. If, 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 if I think more of, not of comfort, but of health uh, precautions, uh, you still say that sports mass is more uh, preventive. Okay. Uh, to catch let's, anything, viruses, than let's, the comfort, let's, comfort one. Okay, let's, let's talk about um, a virus for a minute. The virus... Any virus in the world has a membrane. All viruses have a membrane, and that membrane is negatively charged. It has a negative charge. So it's attracted to anything of very strong positive charge. Our technology, Living Guard, is positively charged ions. Anytime a virus comes into contact with that mask, it is grabbed by the positive ions, and then the positive ions rupture the membrane. We have tested the air flowing through the sports mask. It is 99.9% .9 germ kill of the air going through the mask. Now, that's a protection level of 99.9%. .9 that, that is guaranteed. I can give you all the lab reports from independent third-party you know, validated research. If you put on an N95, the protection level is at maximum 95%. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't, you know, it, it makes no sense whatsoever to think that, that you are safer in an N95 than in a well-treated uh, well fabric mask with an antiviral technology. So your protection level in the sports mask is 95%, 99.9%. Your protection in N95 is 95 at the most because the virus can pass through the filtration. It's 95% of particulate. It's not 95%. N95 means 95% filtration of particulate of 0.3 microns and higher. That includes dust, pollen, bacteria, uh, you, you know, other, other substances in the air. It doesn't, viruses, most viruses are smaller than 0.3. So that, that's the situation. You are getting the same protection in the sports mask that you're getting in another mask at 99.9. .9. It's just a bit easier to breathe through. So yes, absolutely, that's what I recommend. That's the only thing I wear. And I'm in the mask business selling masks. But you know, that data has been, I've given that in many TV interviews, I've given that in many interviews in the press, but there are still people that say, I, you know, I don't, I still want more. You know, I want more. And so I have to have a range, a menu of options. I mean, if I owned a restaurant and you said, what's the best thing on the menu? And I said, it's my cheese pizza. 
that doesn't mean the only thing on my menu is the cheese pizza. Because there's people that say, I don't want cheese pizza. I want, you know, I want the steak. And so I have to have steak on the menu, even though I don't think it's the best dish, I still have to offer it. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm offering a variety of masks to meet the different needs of people. And, you know, that's, that's the nature of consumer goods marketing is you have to have a range of offerings. Jim, I want to, un uh, Peter, you have one more, you have uh, some more question. Okay, uh, Pete, uh, Jim, I, I want to understand the, uh, the, um, the features of the, uh, the mask, especially the sport mask, the fine guard sport mask, uh, the science of it. Uh, the, 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 reason, uh, the reason why it's breathable is because the air flow uh, gets in freely. But the, 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 the reason why you, the, the wearer or the one who uses the fine guard mask, mask is protected is because of the, the, uh, the ionization uh, explanation you mentioned a while ago. Yes, uh, every, okay. every square, I'll give you the number, every square centimeter of fine guard sport has 30 trillion positive ions in the fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay. 30 trillion per square centimeter. So the minute that a virus comes into contact with that mask, it is grabbed by the positive ion and then ruptures the membrane. So that's the main difference of the fine guard sports mask with an N95 because the N95, the, the breathability, because it doesn't really it's let a the filter. air pass through it. Yeah. So it it's sort of like repels the air. That's why it, for, for a, an active individual, it gets to be you more can. difficult to breathe as you increase your level of activity. It's because yeah, the, the other thing, the other thing about all these other masks like N95, non living guard masks, mm -hmm. go and look at the April edition of Lancet journal medical journal which is the most respected medical journal in the world look at the april 10th edition there's a study in there how long does coronavirus live on a typical surgical mask because it's being filtered so that it sticks to the mask if it's being filtered it sticks to the mask do you know how long coronavirus lives on a surgical mask seven days so when you take the mask off and you touch the outside of it you can catch the coronavirus off your mask at least our mask is killing the virus continuously. It doesn't live on the outside of the mask. I mean, I, I, you know, there's really no reason to be buying a surgical mask. There isn't now. We haven't maybe done the best job of, of marketing and telling people that. But I mean, I would never allow my whole family in the U.S. everywhere is wearing this mask because I sent them to them. Because I don't want my, I've got my brother's 81 years old. I don't want him dying of coronavirus. I sent him our mask. And I told him, don't use anything else because you see all the data to use a disposable surgical mask. You have, you have coronavirus on that mask right now, living on the okay, mask. That's so the, you know, that's the, that's the real data. Go and look, it's in the April 10, 2020 journal of Lancet, a full study of how long coronavirus lives on masks. That's consoling to hear uh, from, uh, from my perspective of a runner. And guys, uh, all our sports scribes here, you, uh, aside from the fact that you would be given with your own uh, uh, pair of uh, fine guard sport masks, you would be also be given a slot for the virtual half marathon. So you could join. <laughs> so I think we, it, this, this uh, press conference needs a round two so that we will be able to uh, have some uh, share each other's experience and how that because it's 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 this this mask this uh, topic about wearing a, a, a protective mask is a, a different kind of uh, topic of discussion because it it it, it 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 tags along our health and their safety it's not like some like an, an apparel a t-shirt or a, a sportswear it's really more of like our safety so that's why we're really i'm really interested about the product because I'd be using it even if I'm not running. So, so that's, that's the, where I'm coming from. Anyway, uh, anybody else uh, from our friends uh, who have uh, other questions, even related to uh, what we have in store for the whole year? Uh, aside last question from... Lang. Go, last go, question go, go, lang. go, 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 Bong. No uh, problem. Mer meron ba kayo mga ano, quota for certain, ano, uh, how many runners that you expect to come? Or is this... Unlimited number of entries. 
we are uh, targeting okay. okay to to uh, for an optimal number uh, to manage the uh, the to scale for us so we could uh, optimally scale the event uh, based on the available online platform digital platform that we have 500 muna kasi ah, 500 initially oh, for, 500, all age, oh, kasi, for all age for all for all across the age yeah across yeah. the age kasi unlike uh, un- unlike a uh, normal uh, crowd gathering real uh, live event this uh, virtual uh, event, half marathon event, uh, could be scaled eh, uh, in terms of the material, visual materials that would be able to accumulate. Eh. If it's like more than 500, maraming tapun eh, sayang. So, mm. so that's the reason why we were targeting just 500. Uh, anyway, it's could, still uh, an initial it. one, but as you yeah. go along, could yeah. be. But we'd love to, uh, to, to have like uh, more than 500. But uh, we're based on our computation, 500 is a, really an optimal number of people who would be able to send in all their data, especially the pictures of the places they've been ra- that they chose as their course. That would be a lot. Oh, so, okay. yun. One, one last so, question, okay, Sir Popoy. How critical is the Clark, Clark, new Clark City athletic bubble to the training of our athletes, especially looking forward to the Southeast Asian Games and the fact that we had uh, one of our highest performances two years ago? Well, it's very critical if you want to, if you don't want to waste your money, all of the money that you spent and the fine performance that we had in the 30th Sea Games, we will lose it if these people do not use it. Uh, Mm. They've been dormant too long despite the online private exercises that they perform, but it's still different when you have an actual competition in a supervised training by your coaches and you have your regular massage, your therapy, uh, it's different. And we just have to do it because uh, our, our athletes are, are getting demoralized in the sense that uh, they're probably uh, sitting around and wondering what will happen, although they're, uh, <coughs> All of them are doing their stuff in the respective basis. It's very important. And also, <clears throat> we just have to keep our people, get them to compete as often as they can to retain their competitive edge. You cannot, uh, you cannot be training and training and training and then not competing. What is the training for? Uh, so uh, it's like uh, preparing for an exam every day, but mm-hmm. the exam never comes around. So uh, what, what is that? You're never tested. So it's very important for, for preparation for the SEA Games and other, other events, and also for the morale of the athlete. And if from an uh, investment return point of view mm-hmm. for the government. <laughs> Sir, last question regarding that. Uh, will, will the enlisted personnel and coaches be now be able to are still restricted to our civilian athletes? Well, we have written uh, the PSC, asked them to endorse our request to General Perez of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Personal Services. And I even spoke to him, uh, General Perez, Adriano Perez Jr., uh, to um, intercede on behalf of our athletes. There are about 13 of them who cannot join us in the training camp unless they're given a uh, that service, yes, sir. That service uh, status. And again, that's a, a waste of, uh, of money in the sense that uh, like, for example, Clinton Bautista won the gold medal yes, in the 110 in their deals. Yes, sir. And then you've got uh, um, the decathlon, the athlete. Uh, See, Ari, sir. Aris Toledo. Yes, sir. They're lying dormant there, and their 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 talents are not being utilized. Well, of course, they're serving the armed forces. They're serving the armed forces uh, honorably by helping out in the pandemic. But you know, they've done their part already. Maybe some of that time can be used uh, for that for the athletics team. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Wigo. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mr. Wigo, um, you 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 will be. I I I suppose you talk 
to uh, your colleagues in uh, uh, IAF. And uh, ano po ang uh, balita nyo other countries like especially in Southeast Asia? Have they, has, uh, do, did they be, begin, begin uh, training already? Oh, yes. Uh, Thailand. Thailand ang hindi? They, no, they've been training. Thailand practically never, practically never stopped. They just continued. Vietnam. And, and Vietnam. Uh, you know, they, Malaysia, they, even. even yeah, in Malaysia. The problems with the pandemic are almost non existent. Uh, so they're able to have more freedom, they're able to have more flexibility. Uh, not even the athletes, but the ordinary person who wants to do recreational running. Okay, so, so comparatively, Peter, I think, uh, sad, sad to say, it's only the Philippines among the top five athletics nations uh, who is not really, who has not restarted with athletics, uh, top level training. Uh, like Vietnam, as mentioned by Sir Popoy, Vietnam and Thailand, practically, they didn't get to experience the, the kind of uh, restriction that we had, especially for our athletes. And now, uh, together with these two countries, even Indonesia and Malaysia, uh, and r relatively Singapore has been moving on already. So uh, there's a really a, a stark uh, specter for our athletes. If they don't start soon, uh, they might not be able to perform well, even in Southeast Asian games. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, most photogenic course awards. No? <laughs> yes, race course. Yeah. They say photogenic kasi they do, hindi sila maganda. Hmm? Only, hindi tao. Maganda, maganda lang. Maganda, maganda lang. <laughs> the background ba? O yung tao? Yeah. Yeah. Hindi, Ay, yung background. Uh, photogenic may, may, dapat. May ano man yun. Mga, there's, there's a fine print in the category. I just uh, I, 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 yeah. I highlighted lang during our discussion. But in the uh, website, it's adequately explained, you know. But but the requisite of that, aside from the uh, nice, beautiful background, scenic, the scenic side, is that the wearer is that the runner should be wearing a uh, uh, fine guard sport mask. Ano dapat maganda yung scene, yung scenic o yung view? Yes, the scene, the, the view, ah, the, scene. the view. Okay, the view. So <laughs> the subject, okay, the subject is not the basis of uh, evaluation. The, the, the aspect of the no. basis of evaluation, qualification, is the uh, uh, face mask being worn, which is supposedly a uh, fine guard sport mask. Pero ang gegradan talaga is the, the view. <laughs> okay, yes. Whereas in that oh, other category oh, of oh, the I context. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May tourism aspects pa ito. So I think yes, we sir. should also put in Pwede rin, sir. I-endorse natin kay uh, Secretary... Uh, Puyat. Uh, Puyat, yeah. And for the other category, the subject naman is the, ano, is the, the one who would be evaluated. Kasi dapat he, if he or she if he will epitomize the, vibrance, the vibrancy of a runner, a happy runner. Okay? Again, dapat that, that runner would be wearing the fine red sport mask. So through the eyes, dapat makita yung kanya. And then, oh, the action shots. Okay. Wacky. So, but uh, there's a question here for of, from Ria uh, concerning our national athletes, specifically our uh, one of our top-notch athletes, uh, si EJ Obiena, of course. Uh, sana daw ba, sir, update? And even, I think even Jim could uh, uh, give some piece of information about the whereabouts and update on uh, EJ. Aside from the fact that he's one of the top-notch world athletes who relies on the safety provided by Fine Guard. Well, right now he is in, in uh, he's in Padova. He's training in the indoor facility there together with, uh, with his coach and yeah. you know, a therapist. No, and he texted me the other day, and I have right after this I have to give him a call <clears throat> because of the matter, the problem that he brought up here <clears throat> in the text. Uh, and the time is just right. It's uh, about uh, three thirty or. 11.30 uh, in the morning in, uh, in Italy at that time. So uh, it's, there are so many things, so many changes that have, that have been wrought by this pandemic uh, from the training mode to the 
location of the training, to the expenses that are incurred because of the change, uh, so many. And uh, this Olympics have to push through uh, because we're spending so much time, effort, invest, uh, resources we're putting into it. We, we this better go through because I hear of news that it might not push through uh, because of what's happening in Japan. So, Jim, uh, I have a question for in relation to uh, EJ. How, how's uh, Fine Guard supporting supporting EJ in his uh, pursuit, uh, Olympic pursuit? Well, we obviously, uh, you know, we put on the comp. I, I mean, I put on. I felt very sorry for the not only EJ but you know many of the other athletes because during the pandemic and there was no competition, uh, many of their sources of income uh, dried up. I mean, even Tiago Braz, the gold medalist from from uh, Brazil, Brazil, his sponsorship from his club in Brazil was canceled on. So during the pandemic, he was being paid partly by the Brazilian government and partly by a an athletics club in, in Brazil, the athletics club canceled his contract under force majeure and, you know, they lost income. And so the idea of a virtual competition came up and, you know, basically, uh, you know, I tried to make it good for our company. I mean, I have to not only help Patafa or help an athlete, I have to also serve as the CEO of my company and do the right things to the company by getting it and making it big I was able to give the more prize money than anyone in the world is giving in athletics. So first place was $20,000. I mean, in the diamond league in Europe, the, the, the first place is $5,000. So, you know, I was able to basically get those guys in, get four vaulters in and everybody got between $5,000 and $20,000. And then all of them were very, very happy and satisfied. I have used, uh, you know, tremendous resources here to assist, you know, with the Italian authorities and we've paid him, uh, you know, we have paid him and I've also paid privately for various, you know, when, when EJ had specific needs, uh, you know, either medical bills or things like that, that it would take, it, you know, it was taking time. I think Patafa does a great job in helping him, but sometimes with all the different, you know, uh, channels that money has to go through it might take time then i would bridge you know and pay some of the bills and so you know we help him and you know we're we support him on uh, also just friends and and helping him out i can tell you now i mean he's a he's a wonderful young man but he's been alone for a year and a half i mean you know think about you know you don't see your parents you don't see anybody he was unable to leave Italy. He stayed alone. Everybody else went to their home country. He stayed in Italy. Now, the negative of that is, is that think about Christmas. On Christmas Day, EJ was by himself. Uh, you know, I couldn't even get him to Dubai. The Christmas year before, we brought him to Dubai. But, you know, we couldn't do it. The sacrifices that that young man makes for his country, I think, you know, the entire nation owes him a debt of gratitude because he has given up his whole life to bring Olympic glory to this country. And it truly has given up his whole life. Now there's an advantage. Right now, going into the indoor season, EJ is at record levels of fitness, speed. And I have seen his vaults uh, on video in the last week. I mean, I think I'm not gonna give numbers here because I'm not gonna put pressure on, but I think you're going to see uh, some new national records fall indoor in the next couple of weeks because he is at top form. And I would be very surprised given that uh, many of the vaulters are out of shape and they've been unable to train. I would easily say if, if you held the Olympic games today, EJ is in the top three or four in the world in terms of his, his fitness and the vaulting. I mean, he is a legitimate, you know, what Patafa has done, what, what Dr. Wico has done and Edward Co and the team, they have a legitimate metal candidate in this young man he is a legitimate metal candidate and you talk to any vaulter all of the competitors we had in the in the fine guard competition are medalists on the world stage indoor champion u.s european champion olympic champion 
I talk to all of those guys regularly. They all say, EJ, it will not be any surprise to see EJ on the podium in Tokyo. Now, that's not a guarantee, and we all know that things can happen, but he is in the game. So this is not a case of going to the Olympics just to say that we went and we hope for the best. You have the best athletics medal candidate uh, probably since, uh, you know, going back, the, you know, into the 84 Olympics, uh, you know, during the, you know, the, the Gintang Ally project and, and Michael Kehoe and, and that this is the, the kind of what, what Patafa has. They have their greatest Olympic medal chance, uh, you know, going back to probably the 84 Olympics. Sir, I have a question to Sir Popoy, Sir PJ. Uh, in, in reference to what, uh, to, to what Jim has uh, discussed about uh, the kind of uh, support he's been providing with uh, uh, individual athletes, specifically to our athlete EJ and to, to our, our federation. Uh, you as a, uh, as a, as a seasoned uh, sport manager, how would you think that kind of uh, case uh, as uh, typified by Jim Lafferty's co company and the group uh, support or uh, make a case on the need for private uh, sectors uh, support for the development of the particular sport and the athletes' uh, welfare? Of course, it's a very welcome support. Uh, and we'd like to thank Jim for the steady support since I assumed the office in Patapa in 2015. Uh, I think you lost me. Do you see me or? I yes, see sir. a white screen. Yeah. Yeah. I just, just a screen. Okay, anyway, let me continue. You can hear me. Uh, it's a model of uh, a public, in this case, ESC, private partnership, uh, Fine Guard, other supporters, Ayala, uh, and Patafa, because Patafa is considered a, a private, uh, private uh, NGO, sports NGO. So it's a, the very ideal, um, arrangement and uh, it benefits everyone. Um, for the private sponsor, uh, it is a form of what we call strategic CSR, strategic corporate social responsibility uh, with sustainability fe fe features. For example, <clears throat> this sponsorship of uh, the half marathon by Fine Guard is one example of helping the community solve some of its problems or concerns, while at the same time creating <clears throat> brand awareness and goodwill for your product. So it's they complement each other. It's a good model. It's uh, it's another what we can call can call uh, and the help that. <clears throat> Jim is extending personally to athletes like uh, Maristela and EJ is again an example of what business people now call shared responsibility. You, know? you share your prosperity or your or your good business, uh, uh, good business with others who are in need. And EJ is in need, not in the sense of he's uh, he is poor, but he is in need because he wants to achieve a certain goal. And it can only be possible with the total support, financial support, technical support, moral support. And that is why, and also in this case, it proves, it proves again one thing. If you wanna go Olympics, you must spend for it. There is no two ways about it. You must keep on competing. EJ, the other year participated in about 15 to 19 competitions or about in a five month, six month period, about three, three competitions. I saw his schedule, uh, he'll be crisscrossing Germany and Italy and that's what you need. And the best coaching, the best nutrition, uh, the best sports psychology, uh, it's, that's it, that's the integrated approach. Now, if you don't have that, all of those things, or they're 
some of them are missing, then you will have to adjust your goals. Uh, aim for the stars, but if you end up in the Sampayan, that's okay, uh, because not resources were available, not enough resources were available to you. But here we are striving hard, and uh, Chairman Ramirez has, has been assuring me that uh, they will provide the necessary resources. And uh, after I talk to EJ in a while, and if there are things that I have to discuss with Chairman Ramirez, we will do it. Our other uh, the director in Patafa, Secretary General Terry Capistrano, has also been in the forefront of helping out uh, uh, EJ. And one of our concerns now is getting the transportation, the vehicle, so that he doesn't have to be uh, lugging his uh, uh, pole without any idea of where, what, what taxi he will ride or if he will have a ride at all from the airport back to, to the training camp. You know, so this, these little things which are really big because <coughs> he is alone and he does all of these things aside from doing all of the administrative things like preparing his liquidation, gathering the receipts, you know, and then preparing his monthly report. Uh, these are all, these are all, uh, uh, these are things which can keep you busy and distract you from your main objective, which is to train and hopefully to win and do it, enjoying it, no? without considering it an imposition. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's move on to our few remaining questions uh, from Stuart Saldejano. Uh, Stuart, uh, anong uh, publication ba natin? Anyway, uh, you can just butt in, uh, Stuart, if you need to. I just just need to uh, under, uh, get to know you. Dugout PH and uh, Philippine News Agency, akasamahan ni ano ni Jin. Okay, so ang question ni Stuart is, uh, how about the other overseas-based uh, Filipino athletes, sir? Uh, any update on them, uh, especially on their Olympic bid? So that's a question uh, of Stuart, sir. Sir Popoy, hmm. uh, my question po si Stuart uh, Saldihano from PNA, Philippine sure, sure. Agency. Yeah, you know. How about the other overseas-based uh, Filipino athletes, uh, our FILAM athletes, basically? Any update on them, especially on their Olympic team? Yeah, well, so Eric, far in, their, in the contention. Well, Eric Ray, I think, has, uh, well, of all of them, and, uh, and this is not to discriminate, of all of them, Pristina, I think, has a very, very good chance of making it to the, uh, the Olympics, either in the 100 or the 200 meters. And Eric Gray too. Uh, Eric and Christina will be competing in so many indoor meets. Uh, I think on the 24th, they're going to Alabama. Uh, and then uh, on the 31st, another competition in Alabama. But if Christina makes it to the Athletics American League Series, series, I think she will skip the 31st of Alabama and proceed to other places from February onward. Now, William Morrison, uh, I've been trying to get in touch with him, but I think he gets in touch uh, via Facebook, which uh, I don't use anymore ever since my Facebook, my account was hacked, no? Um, and uh, Natalie Uy, suffered a setback when she injured her wrist and she's just recovering now. And uh, well, I was telling her, if you, if you don't make it this year, there's the SEA Games, the Asian Games and the Paris Olympics in 2024. She's young, she's only 24. So she has so many years to, to go. So um, that's the update now. And uh, so that's five, EJ and Eric, Christina, William and Natalie. We were hoping that Christina Haliasgo could make it, but uh, it's just difficult. The, the time, her best time, the, her time in the in the last Sea Games and in the Milo uh, Milo Marathon are a bit off from the qualifying standards. So we were hoping she could compete in Dubai, in Singapore for these marathons, and even in Taiwan, but they canceled because of this uh, pandemic. <laughs> Uh, uh, so just to uh, connect uh, the, the, our uh, main sponsor brand, uh, uh, for the upcoming, uh, if, for the uh, prospective uh, Olympic team of athletics, 
and the uh, succeeding uh, SEA Games uh, athletics team, uh, both of which will be supported as part of the whole year support uh, co committed by uh, Fine Guard Sport Mask. Uh, they would be uh, supported by the, the brand. Uh, so the, the, the team, which uh, the, the, the athletes who will comprise the Olympic team, athletics team, would be uh, officially uh, supported by a fine guard sport mask. Yeah, that's, and, that's a big uh, help. That's a, yes. some burden off our shoulders because this uh, sports mask uh, 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 probably, probably is the gold standard in the sport, uh, sport mask uh, industry or sector. I forgot to mention when I talked about the team of EJ, that is the idea to create a team. Uh, um, Jim's wife, Caroline, was uh, is EJ's uh, nutritionist until uh, the Italian chef in the in the in the, uh, in the training, training camp training took, took over. Uh, I think I think Jim and uh, Caroline will give him the menu and he would execute the plan. And then the sports psychologist, our own uh, Dr. Cheryl Kasuga from the University of the Philippines, who's based in uh, in San Francisco, uh, she gave me a report recently, and she's she talks to EJ at least three times a week. So, uh, so there, there is this is a consolidated, holistic approach, which is the way it should be. It can never be anything else, unless if you want to be Olympic level. We have some more questions. Uh, we are, we still have like a, a few more minutes uh, available to field in uh, one or two more questions, guys. I guess uh, I think we have covered uh, the whole gamut of the conversation. So uh, I think that this would be a good time to uh, conclude our uh, uh, interesting. Uh, virtual press launch for the uh, Fine Guard Sport Mask uh, National Half Marathon vir Virtual Challenge. Bago tayo magsarado, I would like to request, uh, kindly request, if anyone, if, if everyone could open their camera para magkaroon tayo ng uh, mandatory picture-taking, class picture-taking. <laughs> Yan. Yun. Okay. Uh, Tin, back up mo naman ako, pero I'll uh, do it also on my end. Yan. Para makita yung mga pogi. Habang wala pa, hindi pa tayo nakasuot ng, ng fine guard sport mask. Eh, kita yung buong mukha natin. Okay. Ready. Si Bong, wala na. Ready? Yan. Brian. Ready? One, two, three. One Thank more. you. One more. May delay pa, sir. Ha? Ready? One more. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Expect you. within the 40, 48 hours, your, your uh, Fine Guard Sport Mask would uh, come to your door, doorstep. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Mr. Guzman. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Media people, and Goodbye. thank you to all, mm. all who gave the praise. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for uh, thank you. supporting us, and please spread the word to so that everyone would be. Uh, get to get back to running again it uh take it is, uh, and always so wear good. fine guard yes thank you <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> bye 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 bye, -bye.